Alright, welcome to part 2 of the iPhone iOS 4 for the iPhone 3GS video. Um, so, some other features are in messages. You can now search for messages. Typically, it will be like that. And, you know, if you have plenty of messages, unlike me, you can just search for, like, you know, and type in random stuff and get information. And it will also do, like, see, I type in Nicole, or Nico. It knows that I have Nicole in my address, but it also knows that I've been talking to someone else, and I asked, or I mentioned something about Nicole. It doesn't really know which Nicole it is, but you can see, like, how long will Nicole be on vacation, so. Pretty cool. Um, also in settings, you can now do an SMS character count by going to messages. And you can see how character count. Turn that on and off. So that means if I'm, let's say, composing a message to, like, use Nicole again, I can say, like, hi, there, huh, doesn't seem to work, I wonder if I turned it off, I don't know, let's go back to settings, character counts on, strange, maybe it goes on when you're getting a little over the limit or close to it, oh yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go, let's see, it's activated when you have 32 characters. Yeah, you can see that. 32 characters. Then it'll only activate itself. So, that's kind of cool. You know that messages on the phone. Um, there are plenty of other things. There's iAds, which is kind of a useless, cool advertising thing to kill some time. Oh, what I had! You can tell right down there. The camera can focus. That little corner, it says, I add. Let's go see. This interactive ad is pretty much like an app, inside of an app. It doesn't bring me out of my app, which is kind of nice. For a new car. the new car look at the new car I guess um the new MPG kind of a cool thing see how all these cars by just clicking on them or tapping rather it'll tell you about them like you can see how this Nissan Leaf device gives you dramatically better MPG now I can go back here Make the new specs will tell you everything about this brand new vehicle. It's loading. Oh, tap. Ha ha. You can see everything about it. I want to go back to my app, so I just press this X, and boom, I'm back in my app. So that is iAds. So it's a very, very cool way of looking at things here. Um, also, there is a new mail app. Uh, you can see this is all inboxes, Gmail, family mail, Google Sync, and those are just accounts. Unified inbox provides all, merges all my accounts. See how they're threaded. You can tell by that number. Two, you know. But one of the biggest things that I really love is this little switch over here. I'm going to quit a few apps because I don't like them taking up space or processor. That actually seriously degrades battery in my experience. So, let's say I'm browsing Mac rumors. Now, normally, in all previous iPhone firmware, I should point out that the animation is smoother. 
when rotating a page. I mean dramatically smoother. Ooh. New no, Mac Rumors info. But anyway, yeah, Mac Rumors is my favorite site. Go check it out. It's an awesome site. The forum especially. Uh, it also seems much more responsive when you zoom in. More responsive like an iPad. It's an iPhone. Very smooth. But on the same hardware. So you can see how nice and smooth it is. But, you know, when I'm laying in bed, I lay on my side, and then a stupid thing rotates, and it's a pain in the rear end. So I just double click the home button, turn on rotation lock. I'm not screwed anymore. Awesome. So, an iPod, there are a few different changes here as well. First off, you'll notice I'm a fan of Green Day, as I mentioned. A great band, I just, just Green Day, oh, yeah, not Green Day. Don't know what that is. Um, so if I play a, you notice how new interface look. Choose like a song or album, you know. Kinda cool. Play a song. Same interface. So, nothing special there. Uh, YouTube is supposedly cooler. Now, you'll notice, whether that landscape on or off, how videos play in landscape. So, kind of a nice feature. You can play in portrait or landscape. I don't know why, though, you'd want to do that. I don't really care. But, um, that's kind of nice, you know, the, my favorite is the leopard intro, which I made on my Mac, HD2. Like if we're playing a song, I believe. It doesn't seem to fade out like it used to. Um, there's a little bug I noticed. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. See, it started five seconds into the song, what the heck? So, I mean, that's not even. It's distorted sometimes. So, I mean, I don't know why there's that simple bug in there, but it is. So, Apple, bad boys. So, I mean, you know, there are plenty of other nifty tricks and cool things. But, uh, oh yeah, you can also use Bluetooth keyboards with Bluetooth enabled. So, it's a very, very nice OS update. And again, to power off immediately, you just go like that and grip it hard that and boom it shuts off so that's a very cool feature of the iPhone 3GS and then the antenna grip on the iPhone 4 boom the ones at my Apple store just hold them like that they cut off reception put them up to your ear the screen stays on you know terrible terrible new phone it looks nice but uh not a very good phone so that's a look at iOS 4 for the iPhone 3GS